moving on to Warner Brothers. Uh, so Wonder Woman 1984 delayed again. Now it's coming out Christmas Day 2020. Great. Supposedly. So it's gonna be like the new Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> it's coming out Christmas Day 2020. Unless we get a second wave of COVID, which is happening all over Europe right now. So, you know, expect it to come out in April and fill that void of a superhero movie that you're missing out on for three weeks. Yes. (laughs) So that's happening. Uh, The next movie after that is August 6th, 2021 is The Suicide Squad with James Gunn directing, which a lot of people are really excited about that, including me. Yeah, I want to see that one. That one looks pretty good. Um, and then we just got an announcement this past week that HBO Max is getting a prequel series about the Peacemaker, which is John Cena's character, which is the entire show is show run. Every single episode is written, and at least one or two of the episodes are going to be directed by James Gunn, which... Oh, there you go. <laughs> brings up the question of when the hell is Guardians of the Galaxy 3 actually getting made? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be... The TV shows take so much time, so it's yeah. gonna be like he's gonna have to, have to like split his time between that and like Guardians of the Galaxy, I guess. Right. We don't have any release date for Guardians of the Galaxy, so we don't know when that's supposed to be playing. It wouldn't be coming out until at least twenty twenty three would be my guess. Yeah. Unless it's one of the mystery movies coming out in the last half of twenty twenty two, but I think it's gonna get. I think that one's going to be Ant-Man 3, because that's the only one that seems to have any development going on. Yeah. So, he could theoretically, like, crap out this Peacemaker series, because that's supposed to come out in 2022, and then immediately jump over to Marvel and do his Mario Guardians of the Galaxy 3 after that. He'd still have time. Yeah, just, like, do it, like, unless he's already started working. Probably, I'm assuming he probably already started working on Guardians of the Galaxy 3 story or whatever. Oh, he, I'm, the... I think he already has the story laid out. I think he had the story oh, okay. in mind when he got fired by Disney in the first place. And then it screwed everything oh, okay, up. Yeah. I think that was supposed to happen much earlier than it's going to. Yeah. So, but I think he has at least the outline figured out. And it sounds like the Peacemaker show, he's got that kind of figured out as well. Because they know how many episodes he's directing and which ones he's writing and all that kind of stuff. So. Unless he has, like, pretty much a plan of what he's going to do. <laughs> yeah, he seems to know what he's doing. Uh, and then the next movie is... Actually, Black Adam is coming out December 22nd, 2021. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Yeah, especially... I don't know how... I know The Rock got, like, COVID and stuff, so I don't know how... <laughs> yeah. If that kind of pushed anything back at all, maybe... I might even get pushed back even more. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, I was surprised that that's coming out next year. Yeah, that's pretty quick. That's pretty. He seems to be really pushing for it now. So unless unless they already have a story already written, which they probably do. Well, I think they do because it seemed like at DC fandom, it seemed like uh, Dwayne Johnson had this thing planned out like a decade ago, and he's just been fighting with stupid people at Warner Brothers. Who, yeah, all the time. <laughs> stupid people at Warner Brothers who have all been fired. So, yeah. Because that's the thing. Warner Brothers used to have a lot of idiots, and they cleaned house like this past year. And that's why we have things like the Snyder Cut coming out. Like, I think it has to do with AT&T buying out like Warner Brothers or whatever. But, um, they. That's how the Snyder Cut got greenlit, and that's how we're getting all these movies are actually happening. So the flash was in developmental hell going through like 14 different writers and directors and stuff. And now it's actually happening. So yeah, yeah, they had to clean out all the garbage that they had at Warner brothers before they could actually get this stuff to work. Uh, and then of course, at some point, uh, the Snyder Cut comes out on HBO Max. I think that probably happens before Suicide Squad, even. And that's yeah. going to be released over four weeks, probably. Because it's going to be a four-parter. And yeah. They're currently doing, like, principal photography or something for that. Which, rumors are floating around that... A lot of Henry Cavill rumors floating around. Uh, one rumor was that he's involved in shoots for the Snyder cut and then he was recently in an interview saying yeah I'm not doing any of that <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> so uh, he's not doing that unless things change and then he does get called in to do it. And then uh, the other thing was that there was a rumor floating around that he signed a deal for like three more pictures or something, but that hasn't been confirmed either. So, but all these rumors. yeah, if he does do three more, it sounded even the rumors sounded like they were going to be cameos and not like Man of Steel two or anything like that. So if that's yeah. the case, one of them is almost definitely Black Adam because they they definitely teased Black Adam fighting Superman, and that's something that's been in there for a while. And then of course the Flash it doesn't make much sense that Henry Cavill wouldn't be in that. Yeah. And then he may show up in like Shazam two or Aquaman two or something. And then he probably should just show up there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, he's like the main character, Superman. Right, I would definitely put him in. I mean, he's even mentioned in Suicide Squad because that's the reason why Idris Elba's character's in prison because apparently he shot Superman with a kryptonite bullet. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, that's a that's a thing that happened. Presumably Superman's still alive in that universe and I don't think they killed him off screen. That would be stupid. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. He gets oh, resurrected. Superman, he gets resurrected. He beats... Uh, Steppenwolf and then immediately gets shot and killed right after. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the 2021 lineup, plus the Batman is coming out, obviously. Yeah, the Batman. And then, uh, much in the same vein as the Peacemaker series, there's also that Gotham Police series. It's like Batman Year One without Batman. <laughs> it focuses on the police yeah. department. But nice. so that's an HBO Max show. And then there's a bunch of other HBO Max stuff that has no definitive dates and all have J.J. Abrams fingerprints all over them. So. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. So, like, Dark, or whatever, Justice League Dark and a few other ones are in some form of development, but we don't know any details about it. And then we've got the, the 2022 lineup. It appears to be The Flash, which is a June 3rd release. And... We, it's going to be the DC version of the Doctor Strange multiverse movie, even though they came up with the idea years in advance because Warner Brothers is screwing around too much. They're, once again, late to the party. So, <laughs> they'll have a movie that everybody, ca all the casual fans out there are going to claim that they just ripped off Marvel and they were the ones that had the idea long before yeah. Marvel did. Basically. So, and they also, apparently, according to the rumors, are doing the same thing that Marvel is doing, where they're higher, they're trying to get as many different versions of the same character in there as they possibly can. So, what we do know 100% is that there's at least two Batmans in the movie. So, you've got, uh, you know, Michael Keaton's Batman and Ben Affleck's Batman. So, those ones are confirmed. There could be more than those two, but those are the confirmed ones. And then there's rumors floating around about other ones because they're bringing in Michael Keaton's Batman, so it makes sense that you would try to go down that universe. And so that would be the Tim Burton universe. So in who was the Superman in the... Yeah. <laughs> you know, who would have been the Superman had the Tim Burton universe continued was Nicolas Cage. So there's rumors floating around that Nick Cage is going to be possibly showing up as Superman finally. I want to see that, actually. At long yeah. last. <laughs> long last Superman shows up. Superman returns. Yes. The Superman that we've all wanted for decades. Finally gonna yeah. happen. The Superman we all deserve. <laughs> it's, yeah, the Superman we deserve. That's that's probably an accurate statement. <laughs> we don't deserve Henry Cavill. Get Henry Cavill's Superman out of here. He gives him human emotions. He's an alien. We he shouldn't have human we emotions. Aliens. We don't want human yeah, emotions. Exactly. We want Nicolas Cage. <laughs> yeah, we want 
Nicolas Cage emotions. Yeah. You want you don't That's want right. human emotions in your movie. You get Nick Cage. Nick Cage should have been Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, exactly. Would have solved all the problems. It solved everything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that was that was pretty much the the Warner Brothers roundup, and then some stuff about HBO Max. But I mean, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. And then Netflix has shows. <laughs> Yeah, they they haven't stopped, so they're kind of like just turning stuff out constantly. So Netflix, yeah, like, Netflix constantly has stuff coming out because not only are they releasing programming, they're also bringing in like international shows as well. There's a really interesting looking series coming out next month that I'm definitely gonna check out and probably do a review on the channel. But it's called the Barbarians or something, and it's supposed to be about the Roman army invasion of Germania. So their invasion oh, of Germany, <laughs> and it's going to talk about, it deals with like the Teutoburg Forest when the German barbarians like wiped out three Roman legions. So oh, yes. it looks really interesting, and it's also interesting because they actually have, it's a German production, so the barbarians are actually speaking German. I mean, they're speaking modern German, but you know, it's still German. But then the romans are actually speaking latin so they have a division between the two sides which is something that we never see in that's pretty crazy actually. we always <laughs> think romans speak with british accents <laughs> yeah always romans always have british accents <laughs> romans always speak english with british accents so it'd be interesting to see like actual italian people playing romans in latin and even though even though British is like almost like a Germanic language. <laughs> it is a Germanic language, but yeah, it's, it's like the, the Romans are the Germanic language. Yes, They're but it'll be it's kind of cool that they have the two sides speaking different languages. Yeah, so that would be kind of cool. And German, apparently Germany's been doing some good Netflix content. I haven't watched this show. It's also a possible watch and review for the channel. Lots of possible reviews. Uh, but the yeah. series Dark is supposed to be pretty good, and that's a German like sci-fi show that's on Netflix. I think I've heard about that one. So uh, that that seems to be a popular one. And then another one, another a French show that I'm definitely going to be checking out. It's called Zone Blanche, and that's like another kind of sci-fi crime drama thing. So it's a couple shows we'll probably be checking out. Yeah. But uh, Netflix always has stuff going on. Enola Holmes, despite getting sued by the Doyle estate, may possibly get a sequel because it seemed like Millie Bobby Brown was very interested in doing another one. And not only is she the star, she's also the producer. So if she's interested, oh, yeah, that'll probably make another one. <laughs> she could probably make it happen. And you just, yeah. I would. The only thing I want to see is, despite the complaints, I would like to see more of Henry Cavill because I thought he was a really good. Sherlock. Um, mm -hmm. He doesn't get a lot of screen time because it's not a Sherlock Holmes movie. It's an Enola Holmes movie, so it makes sense. But one thing I want to point out, and this is something that Henry Cavill's talked about in interviews too, is that his Sherlock is not that different from other Sherlock Holmes depictions. He's still the weird guy that doesn't act like a regular person. It's just that his interactions with his sister are human reactions because yeah. he's finally met somebody he considers his equal like she wore she operates on his wavelength so yeah. he's interested in her but he doesn't care about anybody else so his view of everybody anybody else encountering him would see him as that cold distant person that we all are used to so he's really not different than other sherlock holmes it's just his interaction with his sister is different yeah so, yeah, he's not a completely different version than what we've seen before. We've just never seen a Sherlock Holmes that had that. I mean, it's not not a great deal different than his interactions with Watson. So, you know, we've seen him have human emotions before. So, I don't know what the estate's issue is, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they need more money, I guess. <laughs> they need money, yeah. Like I said, they must have a lawyer just looking for possible lawsuits at all times. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, that's basically what I got for the last couple of weeks. I mean, there was some other stuff, but we can talk about it in a, a different video. I wanted to cover all yeah. of the, the new schedule changes and everything that have been going on. 
keep our uh, yeah, huh? keep our one viewer up to date on what's going on in the world. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't have really. The only thing I had really had was Mandalorian. And that was like pretty much it. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for part four when we talk about video game news. Hope to see you then. Bye.